Garden. My name is Miss Catherine and this is my friend the bee and we will be reading you stories today about spring. Our first book today is Hooray for Spring by Kazuo Iwamura and joining us today is Mouse. Hi everyone! Spring was here at last. Mick, Mac, and Molly leaped from branch to branch. Hooray for spring, they shouted. Look, called Mac, caterpillars. They're eating the leaves. That's what caterpillars like to eat, Molly explained. Can you find any caterpillar smells? Hmm, right there's one. There's another one. Good job, mouse. Look at the beautiful cherry blossoms, said Molly. And the bees, Mick shouted. They are sucking the nectar from the blossoms, Molly explained. Can you find any of the bees, Mouse? Hmm, there's one hiding right there. And another one right there. Hmm, and one right here. Good job, Mouse. Look, said Mac, a baby bird. Is it lost? It looks hungry. What do baby birds like to eat? Asked Mick. I don't know, said Molly. Maybe pine cones, said Mick. Yummy, said Mac. I don't think so, said Molly. Here, baby bird, said Mick. We brought you some pine cones. The seeds are delicious, said Mac. But the baby bird shook its head. It did not want any pine cones. That's what I thought, said Molly. How about some sweet cherry blossoms, said Molly. The bees love them, said Mac. I don't think baby birds do, said Mick. Here, baby bird, said Molly, have some cherry blossoms. The bees make honey with them. But the baby bird shook its head again, and even shook its little wings. It did not want any cherry blossoms. I thought so, said Mick. What does this baby eat, said Mac. Acorns, suggested Mick. Raspberries, suggested Molly. Mushrooms, walnuts, milk. That's right, milk from its mama, shouted Mick. And then up flew Mama Bird with a fat green worm in her mouth and the baby bird raised its head happily. It opened its mouth wide and in went the worm. Delicious! Yay! You should have seen the baby bird, Mick told Mama and Papa. It didn't want pine cones for lunch, said Molly. Or cherry blossoms, said Mick. It wanted a worm, said Molly. The baby opened its mouth and in it went, said Mick. Look, said Mac, I'm a baby bird. And everybody laughed. The end. Our second book today is Fletcher and the Springtime Blossoms by Julia Rawlinson and illustrated by Tiffany Becky.
The woods were full of chirping, bustling, sing-song sounds of spring. Fletcher bounced along with his nose in the air, sniffing the just-burst buds of flowers and playing chase with butterflies, with his head spinning with sights and sounds. He tumbled happily down the hill into the sunny orchard, but when he picked himself up from the ground, he couldn't believe his eyes. A soft breeze danced through the branches carrying snowy flakes. Snow? So late in spring, thought Fletcher. It will be too cold for the buds and butterflies. There's no time to lose. Looking for someone to tell, he trotted back up the hill and passed a pair of birds cuckooing on a branch. You've flown your, hum your summer home too soon, Fletcher cried. I've been down to the orchard and there's more snow on the way. Then we should fly back south, they called. But first we must tell Porcupine. He's just come out of his bed of leaves. He ne needs to snuggle back down or he'll freeze. Fletcher and the birds found Porcupine stretching and scritch scratching. There's snow on the way, panted Fletcher. I saw it in the orchard. It will be too cold for the butterflies. The birds will need to fly south and you must hide away. Then I should crawl back in my bed, snuffled Porcupine sadly. But first, we must tell Squirrel that he needs to hunt for food. He's eaten all his winter store of nuts. He'll need to find some more. Fletcher, the birds, and Porcupine found Squirrel scampering after sunbeams. Snow is blowing in from the orchard, gasped Fletcher. It will be too cold for the butterflies. The birds will need to fly south. Poor Porcupine must go back to bed, and you must find some food. You're right, I've eaten my spring feast, said Squirrel, and all my stores are gone. But before I hunt for more, we need to tell the rabbits as to munch as much grass as they can before the snow falls. Fletcher, the birds, Porcupine, and Squirrel hurried off again. The rabbits were rolling down the hill next to their burrow. Stop playing, cried F Fletcher. There's snow blowing in from the orchard. It will be too cold for the butterflies. The birds will need to fly south. Poor Porcupine must go back to bed. Squirrel needs to find food, and you must munch more grass. Before we eat, said the rabbit, staggering dizzily to their feet. Let's go play in the snow! So the rabbits, hoppity, roly-poly, plopped down the hill through the woods. They were chased by Squirrel, Porcupine, the birds, and a bouncy full of important fox, all the way to the orchard where the ground was white with blossoms! Blossoms bobbing in the branches, blossoms blowing in the breeze, blossoms blanketing the ground, and not a snowflake to be found. Those are blossoms, not snow, you foolish flocks, the animals cried. Fletcher blinked and rubbed his eyes, feeling very silly. But then... The animal scooped up pawfuls and clawfuls of blossoms from the ground and covered him in a tickly shower of fluttering white petals. Fletcher and his friends ran and played between the trees until at last they all collapsed in a blossomy, soft, white heap. Then the birds fluttered black to their branch with beakfuls of blossoms to line their nest. Porcupine snuffled off, off up the slope, his quills dotted with tiny white petals. Squirrel went chasing up and down trees after snow white petals dancing in the breeze, and Rabbit bounced back up the hill with blossoms to brighten their burrow. But Fletcher just lay smiling in his soft bed of petals, watching the blossoming branches bobbing overhead. B, what did you think of that story? Hmm, I loved it, especially all of these wonderful flowers. Kids, have you seen any beautiful trees blooming? And have you had a chance to lay underneath the branches, scoop up pawfuls of petals, and play under sunbeams? I hope you all do. It's beautiful outside. Thanks, Bee. Bzzz. Our last story today is When Spring Comes by Kevin Henke's, illustrated by Laura Dronzek. And joining us is Bunny. Hi, everyone. Look at all these beautiful spring pictures. Do you have a favorite? Hmm, I'm gonna go with daffodils. I just love daffodils in the spring.
Before spring comes, the trees look like black sticks against the sky. But if you wait, spring will be bring leaves and blossoms. Bunnies! I love bunnies! If you wait, spring will make the leftover mounds of snow smaller and smaller and smaller until suddenly they're gone. Before spring comes, the grass is brown. But if you wait, spring will turn it green and add little flowers. If you wait, an egg will become a bird and a seed will start growing. Spring comes with sun and it comes with rain and more rain and more rain. Do you like mud? Do you like puddles? I hope you like umbrellas. I do! Before spring comes, the garden is just dirt and empty. But if you wait, spring will push green shoots through the dirt to fill up the garden. More bunnies! Spring will call out the pussy willows and the new kittens too. Spring can come quickly or slowly. It changes its mind a lot, but when spring is finally here to stay, you will know it. It will bring buds and bees and boots and bubbles. Hey bunny. Yes? Did you notice all of the bee words in there? We have buds, like flower buds, bees, bzz, boots, Boots and bubbles. Bubbles! Lots of B words. There will be worms and wings and wind and wheels. Bunny, yes? There's lots of W words on this one. Can we find them all? We've got worms, worms, wings, hmm, wings. Wind and wheels. Ah, like the bike. You will feel it, you will smell it, and you will hear it. When spring is finally here to stay, you might think you are done waiting, but you are not. Now you have to wait for summer. Look at all these beautiful pictures from summer. Is there something you're really excited about for summer? Mm, I'm gonna go with watermelon. I love watermelon. Yum. Thank you for reading stories with us today. I hope you enjoy the beautiful spring weather. Bzz.